Fight fans all over the world, it's Daddy P with Slap Happy Gorilla. What? Listen, and the new WBC champion of the 140 pound division, none other than Devin Haney. So listen, man, hey, hats off to Devin Haney and his whole team. I got to say that. But man, look, Devin Haney continues to defy the boxing public that continues to doubt him. And everybody, look, man, look, look, look. I can remember, man, when he fought Lomachenko, after he fought Lomachenko and won, and was talking about moving to 140, it was a lot of people, you know, doubting and saying that, hey, it's a lot of monsters there he don't want to have to deal with. And I was even one, I got to say it, I was even one that was saying stuff similar to that, you know, but now here we are with Devin Haney as a champion in the 140 pound division. Lesson, Devin Haney just put on a masterclass performance against one of the best 140 pounders of this time. And look, he has become the WBC champion in yet another weight class. Um, who is doing what Devin Haney is doing? Who? You know what I'm saying? He became undisputed in a weight class. Now he moved up. He's a champion in another weight class. And look how young this young man is. He has not even peaked yet. So, I'm going to tell you, man, look. First of all, not only he put on a master class performance, but he had a CompuBox field day. He landed over 46% of his power punches. I'm going to say that one more time. He landed over 46%, like 46.5% of his power punches. You know what I'm saying? And this is in 12 rounds. Like, it didn't end early. So, this 46% over 12 rounds, man. I mean, who... Look, okay. So, he blooded Regis Prograde. He dominated him. He dropped him in the third round. I mean, what else does this young man have to do for people to give him his kudos and say he has arrived? Everybody calling him pillow fist, all that. Look, now I did say this too. That man 140, his power will show up a lot more. And something that Regis Prograde said is that, hey, look, he's better than I thought he was. And when asked about the punching power, he said, hey, look, he don't have concussive punching power. But you have to respect it because... He say his speed and accuracy, he can run you into stuff. And see, that's what make for decent power that you have to respect. When you got a combination of speed and accuracy. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, the notion is over that this man can't punch or whatever. You got to respect his power. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna just march in there and do what you want to do. If it was that easy, then he wouldn't be... <laughs> Undisputed in one weight class Now a champion in another You know um, But something Bill Haney said Man he really believes in his son He keeps saying that over and over But he say look man The Mayweather era is over This is the Devin Haney's era And uh, he was talking to some reporters Shout out Boxing Eagle You could tell Boxing Eagle was right there He was speaking straight to him And a couple of other guys Um uh, that are like high profile YouTube, um, I guess you'll say, not I, really media. When they, they are considered media when they right there able to talk to the fighters and the trainers and the managers and all that stuff. But anyway, they they I guess you could say press, YouTube press. But anyway, uh, Bill Haney was saying that to the fact that. You know, the Mayweather business model from when Mayweather was fighting and then Tank fighting is, you know, uh, the end. And I'm going to say this. I got to interject my own opinion in this a little bit, too, because Mayweather at the beginning of his career, 
was fighting some real, some, you know, he was fighting some fighters. It was after he was able to pick and choose, after he became a high profile boxer, after that was post uh, Golden Boy, after he fought, fought Oscar De La Hoya, he was able to pick some of his fights. But, um, and I think he was more or less referring to when Showtime gave Mayweather that big time contract. And, you know, he fought some fighters, but he also fought some fighters that, you know, weren't considered high profile in some of those fights. And that's what he was saying. That old business model where you fight BS fights and, and charge people money, you know what I'm saying? And then shove it down their throat and say, you the face of boxing, you know, that's over with. He said that, I think, I, I believe that's what he was referring to, that and the fact that Tank Davis continues to fight boxers that aren't like high profile. Now he did fight um, um, a man from Golden Boy, uh, Ryan Garcia. But Ryan Garcia really wasn't on the level of a Tank Davis. And um, he just was a popular boxer, you know what I'm saying? And they made all that money. He, he, I believe he was referring to that when he said that may, that old school business model where you take these BS fights, you know, and he's, what he's trying to say is Devin Haney is fighting the fighters. Devin Haney is, you know, he's fighting the best fights. And then he said to that, at the age of 25, Floyd Mayweather didn't do what Devin is doing or Tank Davis. That's what he is preaching. And he telling the truth. And, and you know, I believe he was, you know, alluding to that when he was speaking of that Mayweather era is over. Now, what he's saying is this is a different business model. We fighting the best fighters and we, you know, winning championships, you know. Um, so, man, look, you got to do nothing but respect that whole team, that whole camp. Um, shout out to Regis Progre. I, you know, you got to shout him out. He took on the young man, and you know, yeah, even though yeah, he was coming up from 35, but he was a undisputed champion at 135. So he came up to 140, challenged Progre. Progre took the fight. This was his second, I guess you would say, lackluster performance in a row. Um, but hey, it is what it is. The young man is getting a little older. So, I mean, I don't know what's next for him. But this is Devin Haney's night. You know, this is Devin Haney's night. So I, I got to give Devin Haney his kudos, give Devin Haney his flowers. And hey, man, look, this young man here is on his way. He already has a historical type of uh, career so far. You know what I'm saying? And he has not even peaked yet. And like his dad say, it's nobody that's doing this at the age of 25. This, this here, he is creating history right now in the making as we speak. This is Daddy P. Like, hate, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it goes down. This is Daddy P. Holler back at your boy. Ooh.